the challenge to have a child. Leading health officials estimate infertility impacts about one in eight couples in the U.S. That means right now, about 7.3 million women are struggling to have a baby. And often it is women who feel the pressure to change their diets or lifestyles. But we learn men are actually up to half of all infertility cases today. Researchers are working to make the process for potential parents easier and more affordable. That includes in-home tests. And as KXAN's Amanda Brandeis found, some of the most cutting edge work is happening in Austin. Do you want some berries for the panda? Bird's favorite ones are pink. Hi. Hi. This is the happy ending Kate and Jason Seal always imagined. Four, five, six. But the Seven, early chapters eight. were filled with loss, heartache, and uncertainty. With everything you're surrounded by, with you know people that are getting pregnant left and right, and starting families, and TV and movies, and oh, it's just it's just that easy, you know. And um, you know, we found out you know very quickly that you know sometimes it's not that easy. And Kate and Jason oh, met later in life, but fell for each other fast. They didn't want to waste time starting a family. Let's go. But after six months of trying, they knew something wasn't right. We found out fairly quickly that um, the the more intense interventions were going to be necessary for us. They needed in vitro fertilization or IVF. That's when a couple's sperm and egg are combined in a lab. They were hopeful, but didn't know a long two and a half year road was ahead of them. So when we would suffer, you know, the losses that we had gone through, um, there was something in my mind that just kept telling me to not give up. Only about 30% of couples who see a fertility specialist undergo IVF. Basic IVF can range from thirteen dollars to $20,000. An embryo biopsy can tack on another five dollars to $6,000. That's when some cells are removed and tested for any gene defects. We had our struggles um, emotionally, financially, physically. I mean, you know, we definitely learned the hard way what it took to go through fertility treatments. I was in phases where I was trying everything and anything. <laughs> so, um, Diets and different yeah. supplements. More product makers want to help couples take control control of infertility struggles and squirt the whole sample into it like the track male fertility testing system the FDA approved device tests and track sperm count letting you know if your count is low moderate or optimal anything that raises awareness about infertility and facilitates a conversation we're totally in favor of this is a fascinating device dr. Kalen Silverberg is the seals fertility doctor he says simply knowing your sperm count is just one part of a complicated equation it will not tell him whether the sperm are alive or dead it will not tell them whether the sperm are swimming. It will not tell them whether the sperm are chromosomally normal or not. At the Texas Fertility Center, ongoing studies are helping couples get pregnant faster and more affordably. One looks at the advances of pre-implantation genetic screening, which means testing the embryo to make sure its chromosomes are normal before it's transferred into the woman. Only one healthy embryo is then transferred, essentially eliminating the risk of twins, triplets, or quadruplets. Raises pregnancy rates, lowers miscarriage rates, cuts the time significantly to pregnancy, and we've demonstrated here that it's cost effective. So what this device allows us to do They're is... They're also testing incubators that use time-lapse photography to monitor embryos. It provides accurate results with less time and manpower. We scheduled out the 11th. Patients can apply to take part in these studies, saving money on treatments. All of this is available to couples right here in Austin. They don't have to go to New York or Los Angeles or you know Paris to be able to get the latest and the greatest. They can really get that right here in Austin. Because many employers' insurance plans don't cover fertility treatments, the clinic's program is built around getting patients access to the latest technology for less money. It's really a shame and we're working publicly and privately. We lobby in Washington three to four times a year and we really push to try and expand access to coverage for care. Tech companies with homes in Austin like Facebook, Apple and Microsoft are leading the way in making those changes, adding fertility treatments to insurance plans. What about your ball? Because whether a couple suffers from infertility or a woman wants to delay pregnancy, the issue affects millions. You're not alone in this journey and I think that's what people need to realize and it's okay to talk to people that have been down that path. After two and a half years, one ultrasound changed everything. And he goes, Oh yeah, there we go. Heartbeat looks good. And I melted. I, I, I physically lost control of my tear ducts. And <laughs> the shower started and I put my arms around him 
And I think he might have started crying too yeah. because he knew our story and what we had been through. While bad news and heartache tested their strength, Jason and Kate say they do it 10 times over knowing it ends like this. Because fertility treatments can be such a financial burden, a Texas nonprofit gives grants to couples struggling to start a family. The Fertility Foundation of Texas has two missions, raise money and award one-time grants to qualifying uninsured patients in Central Texas and create public awareness that infertility is a treatable medical condition. Since 2014, the foundation has awarded $100,000 total to 10 families in Texas. Now, something that sparked our interest in this topic was the at-home device to track sperm count. We wanted to know what the maker had to say about all the information the test cannot provide. I'm told it's not meant to replace clinical semen analysis or seeing your doctor. Well, it's meant to help men test earlier in the fertility process, right? Exactly, and track that progress. The company also hopes it'll help men make better lifestyle choices as they grow through this journey. All right, Amanda, thank you very much. And beyond grants, there are other options for potential parents to keep costs down. Experts suggest asking a clinic about its success rate so you are less likely to undergo multiple procedures. Some clinics will offer discounts for fertility medications or financing options. Clinical trials are another option. At the very least, get a second opinion. Only a fraction of patients with infertility issues need IVF, and you could be a good fit for a less invasive treatment. We have more resources for grants and cutting-edge technology online right now at KXAN.com. Just search for this story on the homepage.